and welcome to 2018 and daily devotions with me John Dyer today we're going to talk about how we find meaning in the darkness and let me tell you something right at the start that there is hope your life can be meaningful and fulfilling when life seems empty formless void and dark God is hovering ready to work this year we're doing a series through the Old Testament beginning now, ending at the end of the year. Each day reading two chapters. So today I really encourage you to read Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2. Our key verse taken from Genesis 1 and verse 2 that says, Now the earth was formless and empty, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Can I begin by saying Happy New Year to you? And today is the start of our journey as mentioned where we're going to go through the Old Testament for the rest of 2018. As we begin this new year, many of us use this opportunity for a fresh start. We are going to be better, healthier and smarter than we've ever been before. Nevertheless, we can also admit that we made these promises to ourselves many times in the past. Now the world is full of people today who are unhappy with their lives. Some so much so that sadly they even try to take their own life. In a recent study conducted by those who attempted at some point to take suicide, many showed that the reason was that they found it all meaningless. Life was meaningless. Just like Solomon said in Ecclesiastes when he studied life under the sun. But let me tell you something. Today, at the start of this new year, there is hope. Your life can be meaningful and fulfilling. That means your career, your marriages, your relationship, whatever in your life feels empty, it can be fulfilling. The chapter we read in Genesis 1 today reveals to us that in the beginning it tells about the creation of the universe, earth and of humankind. And verse 2 said that the earth was formless and empty and darkness covered the deep waters. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of those waters. It seems interesting to me that God didn't create the earth in instant splendour. But it reminds me of a potter who takes a lump of wet ugly clay and begins to mould it. The Bible says that it was formless, the earth, void. Moses paints a scene using relatively depressing words for us. Empty, formless, void, darkness. These are disturbing words, words of chaos, hopelessness. But maybe that's the point. All of us at some time or another have found parts of our lives that can only be described in a similar way. And daily we meet other people who also describe their lives as meaningless and formless. People feel as if there's no hope. As if everything is formless, void, and as if darkness is surrounding them. Well, listen, this happens to be you today. I have good news for you. This is precisely at this point that God begins to work. Because listen to the next sentence there. And the Spirit of God is moving over the surface of the water. What an incredible gift, knowing that in our time of darkness, when we need Him the most, God is right there waiting to churn our lives around to mold us and shape us to create life and purpose in an otherwise empty world so wherever you are at the beginning of this year 2018 you can be sure that god's plans for you are for good and not for disaster to give you hope and a future as jeremiah 29 11 tells us so we're going to each day for this year ask some questions and reflection and today's questions are this what three words would you use to describe your life today Secondly, I want you to think, if today was the 31st of December, how would you then, so 2018, how would you like to describe your life? Three words you would use at the end of this year to describe your life. And lastly, how does it make you feel today as you look forward to 2018, knowing that God's plans for you are not for disaster, but are for good, give you hope and a purpose. Let's just pray together. Our Father, we thank you for another year. We thank you for your faithfulness to us throughout 2017. And Lord, as we commit this year to studying your word, to reading the Old Testament together, I just pray that you will speak afresh to us each day, but also mould us and shape us. Lord, help us to apply the truths we learn to our lives, that we will glorify you. Father, I thank you that even if our lives now seem hopeless, without purpose, meaningless, without form, that you are hovering there, ready to shape our lives. Father, we thank you that as believers we have this sure and confident hope that you are shaping us to become more like Christ. So help us to glorify you this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I well, just thank you so much again for joining me on the first day of this um, series this year going through the Old Testament. 
and I know for many of you maybe this is the um, New Year's resolution for you to commit to daily Bible readings and for some others maybe you've been joining me for many years now. Well, I just encourage you if you haven't done so already if you head over to my website at www.jtdyer.com um, there you can sign up to receive devotions each day directly by email and that will really help you not to miss any and remind you even to um, spend those for mom few moments in devotion each day. If you're watching the video then be sure to hit subscribe or whichever way is easier for you. I just really want to try and help you and encourage you this year and just thank you so much for the encouragement you are um, to me and I look forward to all that God's got planned for us in this coming year.